When I think about NAS, I'm not thinking about kind of one particular definition. In fact, I think NAS is all about being flexible, providing um, services the way the customer wants. The network as a service segment, uh, as it is emerging now, is clearly moving to a more mainstream adoption, so you could call that really a tipping point. I think the industry has an affinity towards these as-a-service models, and it's been talked about for a long time. It needs to be end-to-end. -end. It needs to be everything from designing the hardware to installing it to maintaining it, and routing and switching and wireless and applications and security for it to be a service. Thinking forward to 20, 30, um, the pace of change right now is just incredible. The hype uh, around the valley, um, around AI is tremendous and the capabilities that it can bring to, to everyone. I see it in showing up in RFPs with our customers, but um, we are also finding that um, what it means to a customer and what it means to the various operators and the vendors is all over the place. NAS is a change in how services network services are delivered and the consumption model and the and the speed by which it's bringing the, the cloud type of experience to the provisioning and setting up of, of network services. Campus NAS has finally become a serious and viable option for enterprises to consider. It's a really interesting space and we've seen a lot of changes and there's a lot of variations in it. And essentially what we're looking at is the networking as a service for the campus environment, maybe the branch environment, but basically that wired wireless space. And it's really interesting and intriguing to see how different organizations are actually, I guess, you know, deciding what NAS is. We are willing to let go the burdensome complexity that we all have tolerated for decades. And we are ready to em embrace a very simple, very secure, uh, reliable, and high-performance uh, connectivity. And I think that's when the proof point will start to show very visibly. Before we get into the NAS or as a service, you got to look at the network. The network itself has tons of manual steps. And so network automation is the first step to get to NAS.